Well, the race to see who will represent Coloradans in the United States Senate is already heating up. Senator Michael Bennett, the incumbent, will fight to keep his spot in Washington. But he will certainly have his work cut out for him as he prepares to hit the campaign trail against his opponents from the Republican Party. I attended a Stand for the Constitution event last night to find out a little more about the Republican candidates running to oust Bennett. A couple hundred residents from the Western Slope gathered at the Grand Junction Convention Center to cheer on three of the eight Republicans running for U.S. Senate, a seat Senator Michael Bennett has held since 2009. Candidates discussed energy and education policy changes, but the main message supporters watched was an attack on Democrats. We have tyranny in our midst at the state and the federal level. That's why I'm running. Ron Hanks currently represents Colorado's 60th district in the Colorado House of Representatives. In the midst of climate change and severe drought in Colorado, Hanks' focus remains oil and gas. I worked in the energy field, and what this administration regime, if you prefer, I do, uh, has done to our energy policy, it has destroyed it. Gregory Moore, a professor at Colorado Christian University, who admits he studied politics, but he's never done politics, used the same line of attack. Lack of affordability, crazy energy prices, I think they're all due to the Democrats' policies. Last up was Deborah Flora, a former conservative radio host who believes Congress should be more transparent. We need accountability. Who here is tired of no accountability for the nonsense that is going on in Washington, D.C.? It has got to stop. The candidates also attacked critical race theory, a topic most schools, including School District 51, simply do not teach. We got to, you know, fight against critical race theory and we got to get people on the Board of Education. Among supporters in the audience, embattled Mesa County Clerk and Recorder Tina Peters. All smiles despite multiple state and federal investigations for her alleged role in tampering with election equipment and lawsuits alleging ethics violations. Currently, Karen Breslin is the only Democrat running against Bennett. There are six Republicans and only one Democrat running against Governor Jared Polis for governor. The Colorado Democratic Party told Carrie X5, quote, a third of the GOP candidates skipped Grand Junction's primary debate, giving frontrunner Ron Hanks an even bigger boost.